Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from the book of Daniel, chapter 2. And if you're familiar with chapter 2 of Daniel, this is when Nebuchadnezzar had a dream, and he wanted the dream to be interpreted, but none of his wise men, none of the men in his kingdom could interpret the dream. And then Nebuchadnezzar really got upset about that and basically was saying that he was going to destroy everybody uh, because he could, they couldn't interpret the dream. So all the wise men and everyone that were supposed to know these type of things, and they really didn't because they were like false prophets and they were false soothsayers, so to speak, Nebuchadnezzar was upset. But Daniel was going to interpret the dream, but not him by himself. He would go to the Lord to find out what Nebuchadnezzar's dream was. And when we get to chapter 2, verse 20 through 22, Daniel, before these verses come up, is given the interpretation. And now we get something really interesting in these three verses, and I want to read it to you. The Word of God reads this way. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changeth the times and the seasons, he removeth kings, and setteth up kings, he giveth wisdom unto the wise, and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealeth the deep and secret things, he knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. Daniel is giving praise, honor, and glory to God for revealing the dream of Nebuchadnezzar to him. And in verse 20, he says, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, because God's name should be reverenced. It should be blessed. God's name has everything to do with God's attributes. And it says, For wisdom and might are his, because all wisdom comes from God, and all power and might come from God. He's omnipotent. He's powerful, all-powerful. And then in verse 21, it says, and he changeth the times and the seasons. And the times and the seasons are appointed times of the year. God appoints times and seasons. We have no control over that. So when you see something happening in an appointed time, it's all God. When you see the seasons, whether it's winter, summer, spring, fall, it's God that takes care of that. But he can change the weather in those seasons at will. He can change things that are going on in an appointed time at will. That's all in God's power. And then it says, he removeth kings and setteth up kings. That tells us that he is king of kings and lord of lords. Any human ruler, no matter what we might think, he may think that he sets himself up or we vote him in. And we may uh, do all those things. But it is all in God's sovereign will. He sets up a king, but guess what? He brings down a king too. So he can bring down a president. He can bring down a king. He can bring down a ruler, a governor, a mayor. Whatever title you want to give, it's God that puts you there and a God that takes you away from that office as well. And then it says, he giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. So if you're a wise person, guess where you get your wisdom from? It's God. And if you know understanding, where do you think you get that knowledge from? You get it from God. Let me tell you something. All knowledge is derived outside of a person. So there has to be an absolute source of all knowledge for us to know anything. And that comes from God. And then verse 22 says, He revealeth the deep and secret things. Because there's things beyond our understanding. There's things that we don't know about. But God reveals those things, and they are deep, and they are secret. We don't know anything about it, but God can reveal it to us. And then it says, he knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. God is light. Light dwells with God. That's his very essence. But guess what? God knows what's in the dark. God knows what's in the sinful nature of people and the sinful things that we do. Dear Christian, Daniel is just giving praise, honor, and glory for God for who he is and what he knows and what he reveals. And let me tell you something. Daniel wouldn't be able to go to Nebuchadnezzar and tell him what his dream was unless God was all of those things. And he tells Nebuchadnezzar that. He basically says, it's not me, it's God that reveals all these things. And let me tell you something today. 
even though God's not going to give you an interpretation of a dream because that was a special office, Daniel was a prophet, we know if we seek God, we have to understand we seek him because we know he has all the answers. But if you're questioning God from a position of, hey, God is not right and you're just challenging his authority, then you know what? God's not going to reveal anything to you because you're already prideful. But Daniel knew better. Daniel knew that he could tell Nebuchadnezzar his dream, but the only way he was going to do it is if he went to God and he sought God and God gave him that interpretation. So this is Daniel chapter 2 verses 20 through 22. I just wanted to do a quick look on these three verses because it is a wonderful display of God's glory, God's power, and the fact that as servants of God, we need to rely on God for all of our answers. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and have edified you in any way, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please do not be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do. And until we do another quick look, remember that if you have any answers that you need in this life, if there's things that are going on and you don't understand it, God can answer all those questions because he's the source of all things. Daniel knew that. And we need to remember that as well. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And God bless.